Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Soon To Be Nurse. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. Please hit the subscribe button and join the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It's good to see you again. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to talk about some top Canadian universities and the scholarships they have to offer. Studying in Canada as an international student is expensive. It really is, but there are some schools that are willing to help you ease your financial stress. So I'm going to take you guys through the steps in order to apply for these scholarships and then how to navigate the website to access these scholarships. So let's get right into the video. The first school we're going to talk about is the University of Toronto. So this is the official website for University of Toronto. The, in order to access the scholarship, we're going to click on future students here. So we go down, we scroll down to tuition and financial aid, and then we click on what financial aid is available. So we scroll down and we click on explore what's available under awards. And over here on the left hand side, we can see international students. So we're going to click on that. That is if you're applying as an international student. So these are the um, scholarships available. They have the international students. Um, like they have two um, major admission awards for international students. And you do not require like an application for these awards and these are the university of Toronto scholars program and president scholars of excellence program awards in order to find more about this scholarship you can just click on explore awards here i mean award explorer here and then the other scholarship available is the um, the lester b pearson international scholarship and with this scholarship you have to be nominated by your school in order to be considered for this scholarship which means you do not need a separate um, application for this scholarship and it, the website talks about the other scholarship which is the international scholar awards and with this um, awards you can have a total value of over a hundred thousand dollars so these are the faculties or the divisions that offer um, the international that have the international scholars award um and then the other one the next one is the international merit admission award and this uh, um, this award is merit based and it's valued up to fifty thousand dollars in the first year of study but it's not renewable the um the international scholars award we just talked about um is renewable but this one is not renewable and it's only for international students who are in the faculty of art and science and then the last one on this page is the in course scholarship and then this scholarship is for students who are already in the university of toronto who are already studying in the university of toronto so in order to get to know more about these scholarships or what kind of scholarships or the approximate value of each scholarship you can just click on here so we're going to click award explorer to see more about the scholarships available so let's see let's just click on undergraduate awards here yep so it takes us to the page where we can um tell um the estimated value or the approximate value and then if it's available for international or domestic students so we can see here under the citizenship it says it's for domestic right so we're gonna click on this this arrow button thing to change it to international it's still domestic so we're gonna click here to see 
so we're now on the international um list now so these are the scholarships available for international students and then it's going to tell you if you need a separate application so you can see that over here it says no separate application required that means you will be considered automatically if you meet the requirement so here yes you can tell and then with this scholarship it says the approximate value is between thirteen thousand dollars to fourteen thousand dollars so these are the scholarship and then with the ones that are, um, require separate application you'd see that it has yes apply so you need to click here and then it takes you straight to the um, application so you can apply and also you can just um, adjust the application deadline here so say if you're applying for so these are um, the scholarships with the deadline in 2023 yes so it gives you and you can just change the citizenship as well here to international yes so these are the scholarships available so as we just did we can just go back that's for undergrad so we can just go back to postgrad and graduate awards to see So if you see something like this, like domestic and this semicolon international means it's for both domestic. It's available for both domestic and international students. So we're just going to focus on international. So we're going to click on that. Um, domestic. International, yes. So with this, it says the, um, the value varies. And then it's an in-course scholarship. So it means you can receive this type of scholarship while you are in the program or while, while you're in the school. And then the next one says admission. That means it is it is granted upon being admitted into the program. So as you can see, it requires this requires an application. Yes. So you can just see all these information here. And these scholarships are for nursing students or um, students who want to get into the nursing program. And this type of scholarship is offered upon admission, like being admitted into the program. But it requires a separate application as well, and the amount varies. Yes, so I hope this helps. And then if you have any questions or any concerns, you can just read further on this website or you can contact the school directly mcgill university this university also has some scholarships available for international students so we're just going to navigate through the website and then find what scholarships are available we're gonna hover the mouse on the admissions and we click on scholarships and financial aid. We scroll down and then click on entrance scholarships from here. So it takes us to the page or the website that has um, the entrance scholarships. And then with this entrance scholarship, there are two types. There is a one-year entrance scholarship that is valued at $3,000, which is non-renewable. And then there is a major scholarship, a major entrance scholarship, which is valued between $3,000 Canadian dollars and to $12,000 Canadian dollars. And this scholarship is renewable up to three or four years. So that's basically the um, entrance scholarship. But then the entrance scholarship is not available to transfer uh, mature diploma exchange special part-time and visiting students and the next scholarship we're going to talk about is the in-course scholarship so we're going to click on international students here and then we scroll down and the mcgill scholarships and awards we click on in-course award programs for undergrad students so we click here 
and then we scroll down and this is the eligibility to know if you meet um, the requirements for the scholarship so you scroll down this is it so I'm just going to show you the um, available scholarships for I, I mean the available in-course scholarships so we're going to click on undergraduate scholarships and awards calendar so we click here and this is a list of like as I mentioned it's the list of in-course scholarships but this is for 2022-2023 the 2023-2024 academic year scholarship isn't updated on the website yet so I'm just going to take you through what's on the website now just to have an idea of what to do so we click on undergraduate scholarships and awards And there's a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of in-course scholarships. So you just kind of read through and then see which one suits you best. And you just apply. So it's a whole lot. Just see here. So here. And it says here that it's for 2022-2023 academic year. So. All here. So you can tell and it's not like um, an, um, an exact value or a fixed amount. Some of them do vary and some have an approximate um, value. So the McCall McBain Prestige Entrance Scholarship, the estimated award value is about 10,000 Canadian dollars each. Yes, yeah, so you can just kind of go through to see which one best suits you. Okay, and same for um, the graduate studies. So you can just click here to just see what scholarships are available for graduate students. I hope you find it helpful and then if you have any questions you can just either send the school an email or you can just read through the website to get your answers to the questions or concerns you do have University of Alberta so this university also has scholarships available for international students. So we're just going to like navigate the website again and see what scholarships they have available. We, we um, click on admissions and programs and we click on tuition plus scholarships here. And it's going to take us to this page. So you click on international students that is if you're an international student and then you scroll down you go down and then you click on scholarships and awards so this is where we can find the scholarships available for international students and the scholarships are in different categories one category is an admission-based scholarship and with this scholarship you don't require any separate application and with this admission-based scholarship there are also in three sections one subsection is like the international admission scholarship and with this scholarship the student could receive up to five thousand Canadian dollars depending on the admission av average and the second section of the admission-based scholarship is a regional excellence scholarship and this scholarship um, is based on students from certain regions and you could receive up to like five thousand Canadian dollars and the last section or the other section of this admission based scholarship is the gold standard scholarship and with this one students could receive up to six thousand Canadian dollars depending on the admission average and it's just like five percent the top five percent of students in each faculty so that's the um, subsections or subtypes of um, admission-based scholarship that University of Alberta has. 
And the other type of um, scholarship that the university has is the um, application-based scholarship. With this one, you have to put in a separate application. And then the deadline for this application or the deadline for application-based scholarships is on January 11, 2023. So if you want to know more about like this scholarship or how to apply or some tips, you can either click on the tips here or you can click on the scholarship application form to get the form and get started. So with the application-based scholarship, there are also three sub how do I call it? Three subcategories of the application-based scholarship. There is a President's International Distinction Scholarship, and this is for students on study permits, and they can receive about and they can receive up to one hundred and twenty thousand Canadian dollars, which is payable over four years. And then with this scholarship, the student has to demonstrate leadership qualities entering the first year of the undergrad degree. And the subsection of the interna uh, the subsection of the application based scholarship is international leader scholarship, and with this one, the student may receive up to ten thousand Canadian dollars. And the other one is the May Corn undergrad scholarship, and this scholarship is uh, available for just Chinese or Hong Kong citizens, and the student could receive up to a um, hundred thousand Canadian dollars. And this is payable over four years as well. So in order, as I mentioned earlier, in order to get access to the application form or some tips on how to apply, you can either click on the tips if you want the tips, or you can click on the scholarship application form and then get started. Yes, yeah, so these are some information that I'm going to leave you with. If you have any questions, you can either email the school directly or you can read more on the school's website. And you can reach out to me if you have any concerns. So this brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find these information resourceful and informative. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me either on Instagram or in the comment section. And I'm going to respond to your question as soon as possible. In my next video, I'm going to talk about how to access some um, some Canadian scholarships in other Canadian institutions. So please stay tuned until I see you guys in my next video. It's a bye.